What's going on everybody? My name is James. Today we're going to be continuing the 2002 BMW electric vehicle conversion project. Now, uh, the last video you saw me making the transmission adapter template, which uh, we used some cardboard and we were able to make a really good rendition of where all the bolt holes and the overall outline of the transmission. And so that way when we went to go cut metal, we knew exactly where the bolt holes were and the overall kind of dimensions of the transmission. Although as you'll see, we have the actual metal cut, but we left a lot of excess material to weld to. And then afterwards, we'll kind of go through as like a final draft, clean it up, paint it, all that kind of stuff. But right now, it's more about the functionality to make sure everything works and you know not spending extra time on just the, the fine stuff that we don't really need to get the car moving. So uh, there's a few other things that I've also gotten. For example, uh, I now have a good amount of uh, two knot cable with a couple lugs and things. I also have some 25 watt 500 ohm resistors, which are gonna be my pre-charge resistors. And I'm gonna to try to install them basically in a permanent form factor with a dip switch to allow you to kind of disconnect them if you're gonna let the car sit for a long period of time. But this means that the car will always be pre-charged and you don't have to sit there and turn the key, wait, and then turn the key again. Just kind of reduces any sort of uh, you know wait time. Uh, there's a few other things that I do have as well that I'll show you guys in a little bit, but right now I'm going to go out there and try to fabricate that frame that'll hold everything in place, and then we can start to kind of put other things in as we go. So it's pretty exciting. I'm really hoping we can get this car moving in the next couple days. So I'm going to go out there and see what we can do. All right, so here's kind of a quick update on how everything is actually fitting in the car. So as you can see, <laughs> it's a really rough outline right now, just because we wanted a little bit of extra uh, metal on the outside that we can kind of weld supports to and everything to hold the transmission in place and connect everything together. Uh, and also one thing that you might also be able to see here uh, is we have a coupler that's actually set up and uh, I'll pull that out in a second once I go to actually weld this stuff together, but I'm leaving it right now just for measurements. It took a while to get that lined up. Um, and I'll get into how I made that in a little bit, but we do have that, so I'm very excited. And now as I rotate this shaft, the transmission is also spinning, although you might not be able to see that, but I'll show you guys that in a little bit. In the trunk right now, there are also six 12-volt uh, lead-acid batteries. And now these are actually truck batteries, and so they're about 200 amp hours, whereas a normal car battery is maybe 50 to 100. And so those are gonna carry this car a lot further than regular lead acid batteries. And so I think I'm gonna use metal like this and kind of again, make a structure that goes along like this, kind of like a shelf that I can place the batteries on top of. And the batteries will kind of help balance the weight in this car, again, because the engine is such a large mass that's now gone. So we have a total of 72 volts to start. I have the 72 volt charger, we have the motor, we have the controller, we have the pre-charge resistors, which are actually over in this little baggie here. Um, I haven't taken them out yet, but the, as you can see, they are 500 ohm, 25 watt, two of these resistors, and that should give us enough charge in the capacitors in the controller so that we don't have any problems turning it on and off. Um, and again, we have that green wire, which is our throttle, which tells us you know, how much we're hitting the gas pedal. We really have a lot of this buttoned up to get it at least moving. Again, there are a lot of things that I'm going to add in the future, such as a bunch of gauges in terms of volts and amps, um, and probably just some other nice little creature comforts. But to get this moving, we're at a pretty good spot. So I'm gonna go through, get my sawzall, start cutting some metal, and see if we can get this stuff actually secured in the car now. Apologies for the audio, my microphone died because I left it on while I was working. But in better news, we actually have everything in here under its own support. The jack and all the jack stands are completely out. Um, everything is actually situated really nicely. Uh, some of the welds do need to kind of be redone. A lot of this was just kind of mostly rough draft and we'll go over it with a nice MIG welder later on, but uh, I only had a Harbor Freight welder that I was working with. So everything is pretty much just kind of tacked in place and we'll kind of beef it up later on. And there will be some more supports going from like right here up kind of triangulating. Uh, so that way this plate can't kick forward in any way. But as you can see, the motor is sitting really nice. Uh, and if you can see in there, we are still turning the transmission with no sort of issue. And the nice thing that I'm actually happy about, let me grab the light here, is that we actually have a decent amount of clearance between the bottom of the motor and the steering rack. I was really worried that that was going to be an issue and that it would 
end up uh, kind of bouncing or rattling on that, but it actually has a nice amount of clearance, so if we go over any bumps, it's not going to really hit anything. The only area that I think I'll need to maybe change, but maybe the bolts will actually help when I um, actually attach this to the frame, is that this side, this bar right here, is kind of kicked up a little bit. Um, but I think if I put some bolts in there, everything should kind of level out, potentially. So, we're in a really good state right now. Tomorrow I might be able to get this moving with just uh, some really rudimentary just jumper cables and a battery. Because um, I don't have time yet to wire in the controller. I do have, like I mentioned, the pre-charge resistors and the actual throttle signal. But I need these 72 volts worth of my batteries to be up front and I don't have any space to put them yet. So that is something that will be coming a little bit later on. But again, tomorrow we might be able to do a rudimentary test once I get some bolts in the actual motor because right now it's just sitting here. Um, so there needs to be like two probably up top and two down bottom and then uh, two there's a big foot that needs two bolts in the bottom and it should be held down pretty well. And I'm really happy with the amount of space that we have around this now because I think the controller might either sit on top or to the side and then the charger might be on the other side and then the batteries will go across here and there'll still be even more room down here. So there's a lot of stuff that we can put up in this engine bay now so I'm very excited about that. But that's really all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to see this thing actually move pretty soon. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am to see this thing finally move. We're getting so close. A lot of the actual fabrication is pretty much done. Again, a lot of this is still in the rough to draft phase. Once I can confirm that everything works nicely together, I'll spend the time in going over kind of like with a finishing brush and cutting out, uh, you know, the transmission plate so it's a little bit more... Uh, the shape of the transmission instead of just kind of a blob. I'm just kind of making everything look nice, maybe a coat of paint on that new frame, all that kind of stuff. So uh, we're getting really close and I'm so excited. I have all pretty much everything now. I have the batteries, I have the motor, the controller, the pre-charge resistors, the throttle, like that's pretty much all you need to get this thing moving and everything's actually really close to being fully installed. So we're close. <laughs> I'm very excited and I hope you guys are too. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss the actual moving of this car because that should be pretty soon. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like if you like this video and hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Peace.